Hey guys, welcome back to Belky's Twist. Today I am very happy to be accompanied by my friend Renee. Renee is also a food blogger and her blog name is Thai Caliente. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for having me, Belky. I'm so excited to be here. Tell me a little bit about Thai Caliente and, and what your blog is all about, which the name says a lot. Yeah. Right. So um, I post versions of Thai recipes and Mexican. Mexican recipes and a little bit of in between. Um, I started my blog about four years ago because I wanted to document recipes from my mom who is from Thailand and my mother-in-law who is from Mexico. So hence the name Thai Caliente. And her stuff is amazing. <laughs> and yes. she has a YouTube channel too. So where can they find you? I do. So um, my YouTube channel is Thai Caliente, uh, youtube.com at Thai Caliente. And then you can find all my recipes on ThaiCaliente.com. Oh, there you go. So today we're teaming up because yeah. we are going to cook kind of similar sweet desserts. Um, what are you going to make for us? So I am going to make a easy version of an apple empanada. And then I'm going to make a pumpkin empanada that's going to be fried because it wouldn't be me if it wasn't fried. <laughs> and um, it's going to be delicious. So just hang in there and we're going to get this going. All right, right? let's get started. Yay! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be making a baked apple empanada, but I'm going to be using a pre-made pie crust so it's a lot easier. So let me show you guys how I make the apple filling. So I have here three Honeycrisp apples and one Granny Smith apple. We're going to peel and dice all the apples and cut them into small, even pieces so that way they cook evenly. And in a skillet, I'm going to add all of the diced apples. And to that, I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice just for some brightness. And here I have a quarter cup of brown sugar for some extra sweetness. And then one teaspoon of cinnamon to kind of bring in those warm notes for this apple filling. So we are cooking this over medium heat. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes. So after 10 minutes, you can see there's still quite a bit of liquid in the filling. So after another seven minutes, the liquid has evaporated and this is the consistency that you want for the apple filling. You don't want it to be too watery because then the empanada is gonna get um, kind of soggy. So go ahead and set that aside and let that cool. Okay, so now that we have the completed apple filling, we are going to cut out our disc to make the apple and bananas. Yay! So um, this is just, like I said, refrigerated pie crust. So I'm gonna leave the um, wax paper on there. Okay. And with a bowl, I think this is maybe like three inches, we can go ahead and cut Ooh. some circles. Okay. How many do you think you would get out of a disc like this? Uh, last time I think I got about uh, six circles okay. from there, yeah. Oh wow, okay. And then we can roll it out a little bit to make it a little bit thinner as well. Okay. I don't work a lot with, you know, with the crust like these, so for me this is all new. Yeah. I'm so not a I, baker. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a big baker either, so you know, we're not going to make it complicated and make our um, pie dough from scratch, but let's just start with Plus, a lot one. of moms don't have time, right? Exactly, yeah. Busy girls. So I'm going to roll it out on some parchment paper. Okay. Just so that it's a little bit thinner. Okay. You can see this is the circle okay. that we have. So the thicker it is, the, the longer it takes to cook? Well, then the empanada is just going to, it's going to puff up. Okay. So you don't want it to be too doughy. So oh, okay. I find if we just kind of roll it out a little bit more, then okay. we can... And then the point of putting that paper on top is so that it doesn't stick. Right. I mean, okay. you could do this with flour and, you know, okay. kind of the same method of not having it stick. But but this is easier, I think. It's less yeah, messy. Exactly. Yeah. I like that. Okay. So that's a pretty good size okay. disc. It's cool if you guys want to see the thinness of it. It's a lot thinner. So there. So from that circle... So oh. now it's a little bit bigger. Cool. I like that. Okay, so now we can fill it up with the delicious apple filling. Okay. You want to put a couple spoons okay. right in the middle like, there? Like heaping or not heaping? Um, just like, yeah. That's like this? good. Maybe okay. a little bit more. Okay. 
I don't want to touch it with my hands. That's Because <laughs> I touch everything with my hands. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now the fun part. Oh, it's rolling. Yeah. So you stretch it out a little bit, I see. Yeah. Just a little bit. Okay. And you could put flour on your work surface, and then that way if you're doing okay. you know, multiple, you can kind of have them all on your work surface. Um, there's obviously different methods. I just kind of make sure it's closed okay. first. Okay. And then you could get a fork and kind of crimp it, or you could just kind of seal it up with your hand. So I'm just rolling it up this way. Mm. Oh, so, so cute. Yeah, yeah, you want to make sure it's all sealed. Honestly, it doesn't need to look perfect. <laughs> no, I don't like perfect. <laughs> yep. And then um, we're just, since we're baking it, we want to kind of cut a little bit of slits so that way there's uh, a little air pocket so it doesn't explode everywhere. Oh, it can explode. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you want to make something. you want to make a little bit of um, okay. slits. Okay. And then um, we can finish these, and then we're gonna brush um, brush it with an egg wash before okay. putting cool. them in the oven. So let's finish these up. Okay, so now that our empanadas are filled with the apple filling, we're just going to do a simple egg wash. Okay. So I'm just gonna. And what's the purpose of the egg wash? Just so it kind of bakes with kind of a golden sheen to it, and okay. gives it um, a little bit more of a crust. As okay. opposed to just kind of dull looking. Okay. So we're just going to brush it on lightly. Yeah, I love eggs. So anything with egg on it. Yeah, they're so versatile. Yes, they really are. So uh, we already have our oven preheated at 350 degrees. Okay. And we are going to bake these. We'll check them at 25 minutes. If they need a little bit more time, then we can go to... 30 minutes. And you judge more by the color and how it's fluffed up because the inside right. is already cooked. Right. The filling okay. is cooked, so we don't need to worry about that. So we just want to make sure they look nice and golden okay. and pretty. They already look pretty, although, of course, not edible yet. <laughs> they look pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. For two non-bakers, yes. I think we're doing a good job. <laughs> I, I might try to bake something. Not obviously the same thing, but I might try to bake something. Yeah. Because I'm scared of baking, so... Well, this is a good recipe to, to get your feet wet. Yay! Okay. okay. So this is going to go just like this. Right. We're, let's go ahead and put it in the oven. Let's go. Here we go, guys. It is my turn... Yes, I'm uh, excited. <laughs> ...to make my empanadas. And mine are going to be fried, so I'm not going very healthy. Um, I, which is fine. Which is fine, right? Yeah. Um, but I started um, with making my filling, and my filling is pureed pumpkin from a can because as you know easy. I like everything easy so pureed pumpkin and then I took this amazing cheese that is pumpkin fontina pumpkin mm. spiced fontina that oh, I wow. found at the supermarket and I was just going to put in fontina but when I saw pumpkin spice and even though it is pumpkin but it's a little spicy I'm like I have to do that super simple recipe I grated the cheese into it and mixed it together and then I'm going to go ahead now and make empanadas. And I prefer to cut my empanadas in half, especially if it's an appetizer, because then they're smaller, right? Yeah. Um, and they're more bite-sized and you can Perfect. feed more people. Yeah, stretched out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and um, unlike the dough uh, that you use, the because pie the pie crust, right. um, this you don't have to do anything to. And whatever brand you buy, you just thaw it out and that's it. And it's ready to go for awesome. us. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it in half because I wanna make it, obviously, like I said, small. And then I'm gonna pull it over. And then you're gonna help me now because. Perfect. I helped you. Okay. <laughs> so, so actually, before that, let me do this really quick. Okay, is that just water? Just water, just to moisten the edges so mm -hmm. that it sticks together. Some people do egg wash also, okay. but I like to do water. Okay. Okay, so then just a dollop of it. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. A little bit more. A little bit more. That's perfect right okay. there. And then we're gonna go ahead and fold it over. Oh, okay. Basically the same thing you did with yours. It's mm -hmm. very similar. And then I take- Crimp it. Yep, there you go. With a fork, I like the, the smaller size fork, not the one that you would eat um, dinner with. 
um, just a smaller size and you can do both sides but because I do it like super small. Oh, because you are putting some pressure um, on I'm there. I'm not going to have to do the back. Okay. So it's cool, all sealed. Right? Oh my gosh. Cute. Those are beautiful. Yeah. It's perfect little appetizer. It's super simple, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, you can't go wrong. It's just, it's, it's fast. Okay. And at this stage right here, you can freeze them. So okay. you can lay them like on a paper plate and put them in the freezer f uh, without, you know, not on top, not like hitting each just other, one spread layer. out one okay. layer. Oh, thank you so much because my English sometimes is... Oh, no, you're fine. Um, <laughs> so, um, and then you leave it in there maybe 15 minutes and they, they get a little, you know, more like harder, the, the crust. And that's it. You put it in a Ziploc bag and you you can bake them and put the egg wash just like you did. Okay. Um, or you can fry them and that's that. Straight so, from frozen. Straight from frozen. Or you can let them thaw out if you want, but straight from frozen is fine because awesome. I do that with my beef empanadas. Okay. You know, it's super simple. Yeah. And... Um, these will be good for about three months in, in the, the freezer. freezer. Yeah, and I like it just because if you feel like one or two, you just you grab a just couple and out. you're good yeah. to go, right? Okay. Perfect make ahead. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these off and then we will go and fry them. Sounds good. Yes, let's do that. My empanadas are ready and we're going to go ahead and fry them. Okay. And you can either do it with your hand. Why don't you, you just put one right in? Oh, okay. Yeah, you slide, kind of slide it in a little bit. Yeah. So the oil is perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. And then you can keep going if you want. In. Yeah. Okay. And this will literally take a couple minutes. Oh, wow. That's it. It's, that fast. As soon as it browns a little bit, we're done. Okay. And because obviously the pumpkin and everything else is not anything that we need to cook. Mm -hmm. That's it. Like your empanadas. Super simple. Perfect. Yeah. So the oil doesn't need to reach the top of the... No. Because okay. we'll turn them over. Okay. Yeah. And funny story, though, that I want to share with you guys is that I started uh, the food blog. When did I start it? About two, like two years ago is when I started it like super, like, I'm going to do this as a career. Yeah. Blah. And then um, I was already following you when I went to next door, you know, that, that uh, app for yep. neighbors. And uh, someone put a post about a potluck. A potluck post. Yeah, it was right when COVID started. Yeah, so they said, "Why don't we do a virtual potluck?" potluck. <laughs> and then I I posted one of my recipes or something, mm -hmm. and then you said something to me, and I'm and you're and I'm like, you "No, know, you said um, you're a food blogger too, or something like yeah. that." And then. When she told me who she was, I was like, oh my God, I follow you. And yeah, and then we're down the street from each other. <laughs> yeah, and we're literally one one, one development neighborhood, or yeah. neighborhood over. Yeah. So it's quite, quite, pretty small, interesting. Small, yeah. small world. So you'll yeah. see you'll see more of her with me, I'm, I'm quite sure. And we have another person, another blogger moving here next month. Oh, that's right. Very close. Yeah. So it, it's exciting. I know. So these are ready Okay, to be so they're already getting flipped. browned. Yeah, and I never wait till they're totally brown on the one side. Uh -huh. I always flip them a little bit before. Okay. Only because I want to make sure they don't burn too much. Like I can always go back and give it a little more color. Okay. But these are pretty much done. Like this one, after it gets color, it's, it's done. This one needs probably a little bit more. Okay. And that's it. Don't burn your sweater. I know, right? <laughs> When I was getting dressed today, I was like, this is maybe not the good choice, but I just wanted to be like, you know, now I'm, I'm, and not only that, but Arizona now, I'm like always cold, even though but you're from the I East know, Coast. <laughs> my body has acclimated in ways yeah. that I cannot express. It's kind yeah, of crazy. We're, we're babies here with the cold. Yeah. Oh my God. It was today's 65 and I'm freezing. Yep. <laughs> and back in New York, they're probably in the thirties. Yeah. No. <laughs> so yeah, this Those is it. good. Yeah. You see? Perfection. Okay. So here we go. And they kind of puffed up. They puffed up. Yeah. And that's it. That was so easy. Super simple. So now we check on your empanadas. Sounds good. Let's go check them out. And we are done. Yay. Smells so good in yes. here. Yes. Oh my, and look <sighs> at Brene's. Oh my God. Beautiful. <sighs> and then these are mine. And uh, we're gonna taste mine first only because Yours just came out of the oven, yeah. so we don't want to burn hot. my mouth. And I'll always burn my mouth. Like I know. It's, it's the biggest problem that I yeah. have. Um, and mine are already cooled down, and I sprinkled, drizzled, I should say, a little bit of honey. Yes. I was going to say sugar. <laughs> <laughs> of honey over it, and it's ready for a bite. Help yourself to okay. one. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mmm.
The honey is mm -hmm. really good. You want to check inside? I think I'm right. <laughs> Woo! Mm, look at that. Mm. Good job. Thank These you. These are delicious. Thank you. Perfect, like you said, bite-sized appetizer. Yeah, and it's not too much. And remember, you can freeze them, all that. Yes. It's, it's a win-win. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Another bite. And then we go for yours, or do you think you're not going to burn him? <laughs> I think they should be okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Okay. Mm. I'll break one in half. Okay. Let some of the steam release if you want. Oh, you want to come close? Ooh, Look at that. Mm. Okay, you want to try that one? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> that one it's baked. Apart. That's why. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Still hot. Still very hot. <laughs> very good though. What do you think? Mm, I love it. Yeah, so I used um, Honeycrisp and Granny Smith, so kind of a tart mm. and sweet, plus lots of cinnamon. So. I highly <laughs> recommend you make this because it is delicious. Thank you, and, and so is yours. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and, I, and I wanted to remind everyone where you can find Renee. Yep, so um, my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com at Thai Caliente and my blog, tycaliente.com. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. Yep. So mm -hmm. I would love it if you guys come check me out. Yep, and you'll see us interacting all the time. Yes. <laughs> We're always interacting and supporting each other. So. Exactly. So this is great. And um, I'll make sure that the links to where you can find Renee are in the description. And yep. that's it, let's party. All right. Woo, let's go eat some food. <laughs> Sounds good. Bye, see you next time. Bye. I'm like gonna eat a little bit. This is really good.